Welcome back guys. In this video we're going to go over how to make teams. Now it could be two teams, three teams, four teams, it's unlimited. Whatever you need for your particular game. Alright, I got Roblox Studio opened up here. We're over in new. We're going to go just to a regular base play. It's going to give us what we need to start with. And that is a spawn point. Alright, this bad boy right here. Yeah, he's the star of the show. Alright. So let's click on this guy, Properties, over on the right hand side. If you're not familiar with it, when you click an item, it'll show you. If Properties doesn't pop up, you can click on View. Everything that's grayed out will be what's on your screen. So we got Properties, we got Explorer, uh, Terrain Editor Output, Script Analysis, and Toolbox open on our screen. So right now we're working with Properties. And back to Home, let's look at this guy. Okay, so a couple important points about this thing. First thing, color. We're making two different teams. Let's get this a color for our team. We're going to go with really red. And then because we did that, we need to and also make sure behaviors enabled can collide, can touch, and anchored are all enabled. We've got to come down here. we got to uncheck neutral. And we've got to change this, which is our team color, also to really red. Now that one's done. Let's go up here, let's right click, let's duplicate, let's move our other one over here. And let's label this guy, let's make it really blue. And since we duplicated it, it already should have enabled collide touch, anchored, and neutral off. And all right, so we got red, we got blue. Now this one we need to change to really blue. We gotta make sure this color matches this color. All right, so we got our two points here. Okay, and then so what the next thing you need to do is go to teams, click the little plus sign, you need to add a team. Now you wanna name this team, we're gonna call it red. And team red, we need to make sure that it's set as auto assignable, which means it'll auto assign somebody to the team. And then when another player joins, it'll auto assign them to the other team. It'll do its best job to keep the players even on each team. And we need to go here, this team color for red needs to match what you set for the red base play, which was really red. There we go. And so for teams, we got one team set up. We need to set the other team up. So again, we're going to click on teams, choose team. Now, if teams doesn't show up when you click on that, let me show you. Okay, so let's go back, get rid of that. So if you click on team and it doesn't show up, you can always type in here and it'll bring it up for you. All right this team we need to name blue now this doesn't have to be named to the color but you want it to be recognizable so blue you don't have to name it really blue okay again it should have the same settings we need to change this one to really blue now we have both the spawn points set up now this is also going to create a ui with the colors and the names of the teams up here and it will show the players and what team they're on so let's check this out There we go, and it shows me up there, the team I'm on. It's selectable, you can see the player, it can be closable. When other people join, you'll see them up there as well. It's gonna auto assign you to red as the first team, I believe because that's the first, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, spawn point we made. And blue, once a second player joins, they'll be assigned to blue. And then when a third player joins, I'm thinking it'll automatically assign to red again, and then it'll even out the teams and assign to blue. And again, all the players will show up on the list over here on the side. All right. I hope that helps you guys. Uh, the basics of getting it set up, no scripting required. Like my bacon here and motorcycle shirt. Oh, yeah. 
All right, again, star of the show. Do, 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 do. You guys have a great day. Thank you.